Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to use a pivot table. Again, the pivot table, I will show you how to create it with using a query rather than actually using the data directly from the Excel sheet. Okay, let's go and do it. As you can see, the pivot table here stands here, as you will see. And you can also see that there is a data data tab, and the data tab has from access, from web, from text, from other sources. In other sources, you have from SQL Server, from Analysis Service, from XML Data Import, from Data Connection Wizard, and from Microsoft SQL Query. This is what I am going to use in this thing from Microsoft Query. I just connect it. You can see there are already databases that are there, and I can choose one of them. I am going to choose the data that is coming from the maybe the extreme. The extreme database, I am going to choose it and I am going to say OK. Now, what happens? It shows me the list of the tables, and I am allowed to choose the columns from it. Maybe from the customer name, I will choose the from the customers, I will choose the customer name and then I will choose from the orders the ship date or the details. Let's see, okay, here it is ID required date. And for the product, I will choose the product name and from the credit limits. Okay, here we have, we do not need any employee address. Okay, this order amount is needed. And one more thing we need is if I select OK now, if the tables cannot join, it will tell me that you need one more table or the table did not join and it will ask you to show you the screen again or it will show you the details without the tables. OK. And product type is there, product is there, order details is there. OK. I am going to select. Uh, and uh, I will choose the, uh, let's see, go and choose, customer is there, I need to choose customer and then there is shipped, okay. I can choose the fourth field as a ship date or maybe shipped to depending upon what I wanted to. Now suppose if I wanted to choose the ship date because I wanted to find out what the ship date is, so I will say ship date. I will say next. What it says that the query result cannot continue because it cannot join the table. You must join the table manually in the, in the Microsoft query by dragging the fields to the join between the tables. I select OK. Now the one of the table is missing. So we, I have to figure out what table is missing. So I can go and select to add the table. And here it is. As you can see, I can add the table and choose the table that is missing. Now does it add up to this thing? Does this connect everything? Yes, now it has got connected to everything. Now the thing is that the order amount as you can see is actually coming afterwards and the shipping date and this is what actually I need. So this is the data I need and this is the what I would be needing and if I want to execute a query I can use it like this and I say OK. And this is where it wants to put the data. I will 
it will is asking me table or pivot ch chart or pivot data pivot chart and pivot table report okay i'm going to just say a table right now and i'm going to just click it here and i'm going to say okay so it has created a table for me here exactly now this is how i use the query now i can go and say insert pivot table now that range is missing so you can press put click on the first cell and press control a and you will see that all the cells are been selected and you can say the pivot table and i can say okay and here we have here we have actually the pivot table coming up i can select the product name in the rows i will move the customer name in the column and the order amount here and the shipping date i can move it here now what happens with the shipping date when i move it here is that i can choose from the shipping date depending upon what i want here it is now i can select what date i do not want the shipping records for and the pivot table would actually show me the for the rest as you can see many of the tables you can actually remove the shipping date for so if you say all it shows you for the all and if i want for this only and you can see that this has actually gone down to the one record only maybe i can make add one more and you can see they are adding up this is what the filter is used for and that's all this is the pivot report table 2 report 2 and we have used in this thing we have used from the other sources the data and you could have seen that there was a no it we used from the microsoft query and that's it thank you very much for listening to me bye bye